This is the Sales Gravy Podcast. I'm Jeff Blunt, best-selling author of People Buy You, and I'm here to help you knock down more doors, close bigger deals, and rock your commission check. If you're a new sales manager or aspiring to be a sales leader, you're going to want to pay close attention to this episode. Before we get started, though, I have a question for you. Do you feel like you're being held back at your current company? Do you feel like there are no opportunities for career advancement or that you're being taken for granted? If so, I want you to go now and take a look at the careers at Paycom. Paycom is one of the fastest growing companies in America with incredible career advancement opportunities for talented people. They offer award-winning training programs, unbelievable benefits, and you can make a lot of money. And trust me, Paycom will appreciate you. And even if you're not looking for a career change, you should still sneak a peek at Paycom. Just go to careers.paycom.com. That's careers.paycom.com now. And one more thing. If you enjoy this podcast, if you're getting value from the episodes that we produce, please go to iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher Radio, or wherever you get this podcast and write a short five-star review. Okay, you've just been knighted sales manager by your boss. You probably did a good job as a sales rep, and because of that, you were handed business cards with the word sales manager printed on them, and you may have gotten some sage advice like, go forth and prosper, or we're counting on you to turn this around, or just don't screw things up. And then with your cards in hand, you walk out into the brave new world of sales management full of piss and vinegar and ready to roll. And sadly, this is how most new sales managers get their start and the extent of their training. It's also why so many of them fail. You see, companies assume that just because you can sell, you're somehow magically endowed with the skills and the toolkit you need to actually lead people. You see, more often than not, new sales managers fail because they don't understand that their ultimate success is a direct reflection of the performance of their people. Instead of becoming coaches and mentors to their team, they become tormentors. So let me be crystal clear. If your actions or inaction as a sales manager inhibit your salespeople from performing, you'll quickly find yourself looking for another job. In other words, you get paid for what your salespeople do, not what you do. Now, this concept is especially difficult for high-performing salespeople who find themselves suddenly promoted to sales manager to embrace. As individual contributors, top sales professionals have the luxury of only thinking about themselves. They can selfishly protect their own interest, act as lone wolves, and win at the expense of others. But as a sales manager, the words I and me no longer work. To win, it has to be about we and us. This means that the needs of the sales team and the salespeople on that team come before the needs of the sales manager. Simply put, if you are unable to put your salespeople first, you will be unable to lead and build a high-performance team. But there is a paradox. You see, even though you, the sales manager, get paid for what your salespeople do, not for what you do, you are still the most important member of the team. You are the pivot point. You see, the performance of sales teams rise and fall based on the talent, skill, and ability of the men and women who lead them. Studies have shown that poor sales managers reduce the income potential of their salespeople by 30 to 40 percent, while salespeople working for great sales managers earn significantly more. It's not unlike sports, where the best coaches attract the most talented players, turn around underperforming teams, and deliver the most consistent winning records. And this is why it's critical that you, as a newly minted sales manager, quickly get past the allure of being the boss and get down to work as the coach. Coaches recruit and hire talented people. Coaches develop and hone the skills of their players. Coaches know how to leverage talent by getting their players in the right position. Coaches are laser-focused on helping their players reach individual goals while at the same time building and fostering a team culture. Coaches are aware that they are always being watched by their players and that every action or inaction can and will impact the performance of the team. As a new sales manager, shifting from individual contributor to coach will not be easy. You will have to learn a new set of skills and habits. You can no longer be one of the gang. You will find yourself working longer hours and in many cases earning less than your top performers, and you will be required to keep your ego in check. 
You will also have great responsibility because your actions will have a lasting impact on the lives of your salespeople and their families. This, however, is the greatest reward of all because the real thrill of leadership is watching your people succeed, helping them achieve their goals, and celebrating their wins. If you're ready to up your skills as a leader, go to Amazon.com and pick up my book, People Follow You. That's People Follow You. And go to SalesGravy University at SalesGravy.com. You can just click on the university icon at SalesGravy.com in the top bar and check out all the courses that we have for sales managers. And if you're ready for a career change or looking for an opportunity for career advancement, go check out my friends at Paycom. Just go to careers.paycom.com. That's careers.paycom.com.